much for taking time to come over and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Wednesday, so y'all know what time it is. It's time for Working Wednesday, guys. That video series dedicated to all those hard-working women and hard-working men out there, guys. What we're trying to do here is get you an uh, easy and delicious meal together in less than an hour, guys. Something that's going to be nutritious and delicious. All right, guys, we're going completely country on y'all, so I don't know how nutritious this is. What we're actually going to do for y'all tonight is I'm going to do up some of this Clifty Farms sliced country ham, guys, and y'all ain't living until you try this now. Uh, along with that, guys, like I said, it's just gonna be something quick and easy. Um, I'm gonna make some of these uh, these uh, uh, cardboard box biscuits, some of these Grand Juniors, guys. We love these things, along with a few eggs, and I'm gonna do up some grits, guys. And uh, the piece de resistance is I'm gonna teach y'all how I make red eye gravy. All right, y'all. All right, guys, I got about three good old slices of this bone-in uh, Clifty Farms sliced country ham, guys. And I'm here to tell you guys it's delicious, but it's salty. So what I like to do, you don't have to, but what I like to do is like 30 minutes before I'm actually gonna start cooking, I'll actually take and I'll get some water up on it and let it uh, just soak for about half an hour or so. Guys, we love this country ham so much here in Kentucky that uh, during our Kentucky Derby, um, we actually, are, well, during the Kentucky State Fair, I'm sorry, well, and the Kentucky Derby, they have like a, a breakfast, and that's what they serve this with, uh, with our Kentucky-style biscuits. But at the State Fair, they actually uh, hold uh, like a big auction, and they cure these hams, and heck, some of them hams have cured for years, guys, in the smokehouse. And uh, heck, I've seen them uh, start an auction like around $1,000 for a ham, but all of it goes to charity and everything. But uh, anyway, guys, like I said, you don't have to do this, but I prefer to soak mine just a little bit before we even get started. All right, guys, while we're getting ready to get started here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a half a cup of grits and I'm gonna pour it down in my Pyrex here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one full cup of water. Now, I do it in this Pyrex for the simple fact that uh, if you do it like in a regular bowl, this stuff will start like coming up over the sides. And if you do it like so, that ain't gonna happen to you. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. All right, guys. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually take and I'm gonna stir them up a bit, like so. And then I'm gonna grab a, a big old pat of butter here. And get that on down into the mix. And then let's uh, just simply take it on over here to the microwave. And I'm gonna do it for three minutes and then we'll check on it. All right, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do our little uh, cardboard box biscuits here. And I like these juniors, guys. They're really good. I got these for like 59 cents on sale. And they're gonna go good with that. Uh, well, I'm gonna, like I said, make some red eye gravy with that coffee right there. So let's go ahead and get these puppies on in here. And what I did was I took a little canola oil and sprayed it on my cookie sheet here. Man, I like to put mine about, I don't know, just a little bit apart. They don't have to be. All right, guys, we got our grits going, we got our ham soaking, and we're getting ready to slide these biscuits into a preheated 400 degree oven here, guys. So let's go on and get them puppies on in there. All right, y'all. All right, guys, that's why I do it in that Pyrex bowl. If not, if you do it in a regular bowl, that stuff's gonna come up over it and you are gonna have one heck of a mess on your hands, guys. So let me go ahead and take a peek at it. Go ahead and put a little bit more butter in it. Can't ever have too much butter. And what I'll do is I'll keep nuking them. And if I have to add some water, I will. But I like to get them really creamy. So I'll keep stirring them and nuking them. I'm gonna put it in for another two minutes. See, this ain't gonna take long at all. All right, guys. Let's keep an eye on them now, because they will, they will right, spill guys, over. Take another peek. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, y'all. That's what I'm talking about now. Them's grits. Them's creamy grits. And what it is, is I kept stirring them and adding a little water to them. And what I'm gonna do now is just add a little bit more water. And you wanna be careful at this point, because that water will come sloshing out on you. You just wanna kind of incorporate it like so, then you can start stirring it. All right guys, now is when I like to add my cheese to it. All we got is some uh, sharp cheddar here. There we 
All right, guys. And incorporate that. All right, guys. We got our Grands Juniors done. I got my black iron skillet coming up the temp here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of bacon grease and get it on down in there. Now you can use butter too if you wish, but I think bacon grease just gives that extra flavor. And I've got this pan kind of raging hot, so I'm going to kick it back a little bit. Alright guys, I got my ham up out of the water and I've got them on some paper towels here. Guys, I love these biscuits. Mm, mm, mm. Butter kicking up on it. I'm gonna tell you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get our ham on in. And this doesn't but take but a minute. That's why I'm saying this is gonna be a fast country breakfast here. All right, guys. Okay, right guys. With... I've had it frying for like two minutes, and you can actually smell like the perfume coming off of it. And uh, what I want to do is, when, and once you start seeing it curling as well, but what I want to do is just flip it over. Yeah. And see how it's curling up right there? That's what we're talking about. All right, so what I'm going to basically do here is I'm going to let it fry just for a little bit longer, and then we're going to get our next piece in. It's really good. Okay, guys, grease, now it's really giving off that country ham perfume. Guys, I wish y'all could smell it. It smells wonderful. Uh, my friends in the south know exactly what I'm smelling right here, and it's it, it'll drive anybody crazy. It, it, it'll bring everybody to the table. But, uh, guys, you don't want to overcook it. There's like a happy medium here. And I've done it on about two minutes on one side, probably about two minutes on this side. And that's what I'm looking for, that color right there. If you go too long, it's like a really fine steak. If you go too long with it, it's going to get all dried out, guys. And I'm sure y'all have had uh, dried out uh, country ham before. I know a lot of y'all have. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull that, and what I've done is I've took another pan here, and I've got a little canola oil in it. All right, guys, I'm just going to add just a little bit more bacon grease here. And see those renderings right there? That's what's going to make our red-eye gravy, guys. It's going to be delicious. I'm here to tell you. And guys, it's not like a gravy, like a thick, rich gravy. It's a, Well, it's rich. Don't get me wrong, it's really rich. But uh, it's more of a sauce. You know, they call it gravy, but it's more of a sauce. So, go get this on down into the pan here. And guys, you have to try this, please. I'm begging you, it is wonderful. All right, guys, I'll get right back with you. Look here. Yeah, that's what we're talking about right there, guys. That's just gonna take another minute or two. All right, guys. Look at that, guys. I just wish y'all could be here. I'm here to tell you. Man, oh man, oh man. That is, mmm, that, that is really good eats right there, y'all. All right, guys, we're ready to pull this bad boy, too. Mmm-hmm. God, dog, I'm here to tell you it smells good. Mmm. All right, guys. Get our other one down in here. All right, guys. All right, guys. I believe we're done with this bad boy. All right, y'all. Get this on into our warming station here. I got the oven setting on 170. We'll go ahead and pop these turkeys back in. I'm going to take our biscuits, pop them back in. Our grits are over in the microwave. I'll reconstitute them in a bit, but let me get started on our on our red eye gravy, which is the sauce. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get my coffee up in here. What about a cup? All right, guys. Now I'm gonna take some butter. Now we got bacon grease in there. I'm just going to take a little dollop of butter just to give it that little silkiness. Get that on up in the pan here. Now basically we're tempering the butter. Now see it's got all that goodness on there guys. What we want to do is kind of deglaze the pan here. 
All right, guys, now what we're gonna do, this is how simple this is. We got bacon grease and a dollop of butter, and I got one cup of uh, strong black coffee. That's all there is to it, guys. Like I said, we'll deglaze the pan here. And this makes for a rich sauce. Okay guys, I've reduced it by half. Now a lot of folks will just use like a half a cup of coffee or something. I like using a full cup because it's, I like mine strong. So what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm just gonna add just a little bit of butter to it. Like so. And we're gonna incorporate that. And like I said, this ain't like a real thick gravy. It's, it's a sauce, really. They just call it gravy. All right, guys, that's it. It's done. All right, we're gonna get on our eggs here in just a minute. Style. All right guys, we've got our Clifty Farms just sitting in there warming off and our biscuits. We've already prepared our grits and our red eye gravy. Now what I've gotten, uh, I've got my other skillet out and I got a little about a, I don't know, a good sized dollop of uh, bacon grease in there. And uh, basically guys, I like to break my eggs up first and then I'll put them down in my pan. All right guys, we'll let these let these babies set real quick. All right guys, we'll right kick back our here. heat back. Now, I've done four. You think I can do five? Look at that, y'all. Don't try that at home now. All right, guys, we got our authentic Kentucky-style breakfast over to the table, guys. Breakfast for dinner. And we got that Clifty Farms uh, country ham. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to get into that. We got some uh, Fritz's grits and some red eye gravy and some tube biscuits and some maters, y'all, along with some uh, apple butter. It's gonna be good. All right, all right guys, guys we are all plated. plated up. Check out that goodness right there. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. He made me a little country ham biscuit too. That's next level yumminess. All right, Mom, I know you've been looking forward to this. Yeah. Mm. Is it good? Great flavor. Yeah, it's been a long time since we had this. I'm here to tell you guys, look at that. That's really good. It's rich, mm -hmm. but really, really good. Yeah. See what you think of my creamy grits are. Mm. I didn't put any salt in them, so yeah. it's just butter and cheese. Mm. I can make a meal out of this right here, and I will with the leftovers. I'll eat it for breakfast. Be able to get you a grab-and-go biscuit out the door. But let's go ahead and try some of my grits. Mm. What's that? The grits. Oh, yeah. You can do them in the microwave if you know how to do them. Mm -mm. Now I brought them back to life with a little bit of half and half. That's what the trick is. Mm. It's really silky, silky smooth. Man, I'm here to tell you, that was some of that ham. Mm. We can also have that for 
one of my red eye coffee gravy. And this is stout stuff here, guys. You might not want to use as much coffee as I did. I just like it this way. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. like some red eye gravy, y'all. Get me some of my eggs here. I like to put them in my grits. Mm hmm. A little bit of mater go along with it. Brighten it up. Mm hmm. I'll go back in for some of my country ham biscuit, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, guys, I just wanted to show you something that was quick, simple, and delicious, guys. And I picked up that whole thing, and what do you think I got in there? I, maybe eight slices of country ham for 10 bucks. And that's actually a really good price here. Um, I've seen it upwards to 22 bucks for a package, especially Clifty Farm. But, uh, God, doesn't that look good, y'all? Mm -mm. Get a little bit more grits. A little bit of the egg with the grits. That's the way you do it right there. That's next level yumminess. <laughs> Mom just shaking her head, eating her grit. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, I just wanted to say thank you so very, very much for stopping by and visiting with me over on Working Wednesday, y'all. It means the world to me. And uh, I, I love the fact that y'all stop in and visit me on my series as well as my Sunday Cooks. And guys, I reckon we're going to have a uh, cooking tips and household hints coming up for you this Friday. All right, y'all. I'll talk to you real soon. Thank you so very, very much. Take care. Bye.